actually get the lane gain um, from what we see on the screen there into our vet engine software so once we've scanned in that we are left with a display like this for the horses racing today so the next move we need is to click the save button the save button um, produces a CSV file which is read in Excel or if you don't have an Excel on your computer you can download for free open office and the um, CSV file will save in there so let's uh, click the save button and what will what we have here is we come up with a place to save it now I save mine in the bet engine um, directory so it's easy to find um, so what I'll just put in here I'll just put new because I've saved the selections today so you you need to know obviously what you've saved to that because that's where when we go into bet engine in a second that's where you're going to need to um, retrieve it from so I've got it there and this is the annoying thing with the CSV file is you get reminded reminded if you want to save it as that file and we do so we click on save and what it does just scroll over here it saves it it opens the file here now the file is basically ready to go into Fed engine except on some computers and I think it must be the settings in the Excel on that is if the horse for example Heidi's joy there has that apostrophe there you need to remove it just delete it there uh, because on some some files it won't it won't load the whole file if there's horses with apostrophes in it so looks like we've only got the three here okay oh sorry St Patrick's Day's got one too and Sandra's diamond unusual to have five in one day okay so I've just removed the CSVs from them and now I want to save that file again so I'll be saving now tell this is the annoying sign that it keeps coming up with do you want to save it in this format and we definitely need to save it in the format so we say yes then we go to close the file off and it says do you want to save the changes yes and once again do we want it now we must close the file because bed engine will not load an open file okay so we click on yes okay and it's disappeared now so that's okay now before um, you click load after you open bed engine down the bottom here it loads the races so you just make sure that the the races have finished loading before you load your selections otherwise there'll be no races for the selections to be loaded into okay and I'm already assuming that you've set up your um, your bot to the directions as according to the owner's manual or there's another video below this one that will show you how to do it so what we do now is uh, we click on load selections go to where we save the selections which is in here open it now the selections in that here are loaded in up this little box here are the race ones and you can see there's only showing one race but if we I'll just move this software up a bit if we if we stretch the software just um, pull it down you'll see the races here appearing now all these races that have got ticks next to them if I just click on one race there you can see it there that's the horse they these are the races that our selections are appearing in okay so we've loaded we've just loaded the win 2 to 10 we go to the place one now and all we need you can see they're all ticked up there at the moment we go to load selections um, click on the file again click on open and you can see now the top two races are unticked that were previously ticked and our selections are in there again click on the arm out so big Kenny's our selection in that race and then I'll just go to my last one the play slow one click load selections got to go back to where you've kept it at find the file again click on it open and once again all the selections are loaded now in order for us to finish this all we need to do 
is we need to go into click on active and it changes like this and you can see now all the races with the ticks on them so if we have a look at that we've got three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so you can see there now 21 of uh, the selections were put in that quickly. So we put in 21 into the play slay, um, 1.25 to 1.75 uh, into that one and into that one. So we've loaded about 70 something races there in the space of just a few minutes. Okay, so if I carry on making that one active, and the tabs up here will change color. See, that's a green, that's a green. And if we change this to active, we can see now that all the ones that are active are in green. So you know by looking at the, uh, at the software, the ones that are ready to go. Okay, so that's how quick it is to load your um, CSVs into the, into the Fed Engine bot. Now remember, in order to for the bot to work, it, obviously the computer has to be left, left on and also you need um, obviously internet connection. Now if you want to, um, you can put the bet engine, not the lane game, but you can put the bet engine onto a, um, a VPS, which is a virtual server, which means um, if I just bring up my virtual server here, this screen here is my virtual server here, it's a remote, and um, I've got lane here. Now if I open the game, I'd have to close the other one before I could open this one, but if, and uh, I can turn my computer off and uh, the virtual server because it's it's um, on another server in England at the moment. It will keep on placing my bets even if my computer's off. Of course, once the betting's finished for the day, the um, bet engine obviously will not place any more bets until such time as you load the fields for the next day. So. Um, Thanks very much for watching this uh, video on how to load the CSV file into into uh, Bet Engine. And if you need any uh, help, don't forget the owner's manual um, has got a couple of things that um, tell you what's wrong if it's not loading up properly. Okay, but the main reason for not loading up is you're not closing the CSV file off. You might have apostrophes in the horses' names, or you might be saving the name with dots in between. You must use slashes or dashes. You can't use 25.07.1926 or whatever. Um, the CSV file won't open in Bet Engine. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, all the best with Bet Engine and Lane Game. Thank you. This is Steve signing off.